One of the many things I like about KSAT Q&A, we get to go in-depth on different topics, and we also get to learn certain things about different cultures, different religions, and we welcome back a guest we have had on before, Imam Omar Shakur from Masih Bilal Mosque. I hope I said that right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> We're going to talk about the holiday that is coming up, uh, I believe on the 20th, is that correct? It is Idel Adha, and it has to do with the pilgrimage in Hajj. Very good. Eid al-Adha, yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, talk about what Eid al-Adha is. Okay. Uh, as always, I want to begin with God's name first. Uh, and uh, I have to thank you and Myra again, Steve, for this opportunity. But I want to thank you for two other things. I want to thank you for keeping your word. You had invited me last time to come back, and here I am. I'm back again. <laughs> thank you for that. But also, thank you for the exposure and the open-mindedness that you have and the way you celebrate our diversity here, whether it's ethnicity or religion, et cetera. So thank you so much for that. Well, thank you for being part of that. But yes, the Hajj, which is the pilgrimage to Mecca, in which the Eid is associated with that. And we have a similar situation that we had during Ramadan, meaning that during Ramadan, we had the 30 days of fasting and then Eid al-Fitr. This time we have the pilgrims traveling from all over the, the earth going to Mecca where there's a, a shrine there or a house called the Kaaba. The Kaaba, there you go, I see the picture. The Kaaba is a house that we believe was built by Abraham and his son Ishmael. And it represents a couple things. First of all, you could call it the first synagogue, the first church, the first mosque for the worship of the one God. But it also symbolizes the universality of mankind. And what I mean by that, I personally was blessed to make Hajj back in 2005. And when I was there, we know COVID is a game changer, but when I was there, there were 4 million pilgrims there. So it was quite exciting to meet brothers and sisters from all over the globe and to celebrate one humanity and to celebrate equality before our Lord. And what I mean by that, the equality is, I don't know if you ever seen the picture, Steve Byra, but we have a situation where the men, they wear two pieces of cloth you know, you see the way I'm dressed now, you might have a Nigerian dressing a certain way, some from, from Pakistan dressing another way. But when we go to Hajj, we take off our nationalistic garb and we wear the simple garb of the pilgrim. Why is that significant? Because it shows that we're all equal before God. See, when I have on two cloths, you don't know if I'm educated or uneducated. You don't know if I'm rich or I'm poor. You don't know if I if I have uh, if I'm a king or or if I have money. You don't know if I'm any of those things. Hmm. So before God, we have equal opportunity, and we always want to celebrate the humanity of mankind. Interesting. So it's that, very in, very intentional in what you wear on this pilgrimage as well. Yes, and, and if you also look at it. Uh, now, I hope you can appreciate the humor here. The men, when they wear that big sheet, they almost look like they have a big diaper on. So who wears <laughs> diapers? Babies wear diapers. What do babies symbolize? Purity, innocence. So it's a return to your innocence. So there's a lot that we could say, but I know that the, the segment is short, but I just want to say that we're, we're celebrating uh, dignity for the human being, equality among the human being before God, and we're celebrating the universality of, of mankind. We're officially so, one question in, and we've already learned that much in yeah. this segment. Uh, Imam, tell us about the holiday itself, Eid al-Adha. How does the Muslim community observe that? What are some of the traditions uh, that take place during that time, and how long does that holiday last? Okay, excellent. Uh, all of the rituals associated with Hajj have to do with Abraham and his family. And we know that Abraham was going to sacrifice his son and then God told him, no, don't do that. Go ahead and sacrifice a ram. But again, Eid is a word that means reoccurring happiness or festival. Eid al-Adha is translated the festival of the sacrifice. So what will happen on Tuesday, we will have an Eid prayer and a message and then we will celebrate. 
many of the people will, in the tradition of Abraham, they will sacrifice a goat, a sheep, a ram, a cow, and they will use that meat to feed the needy and the less fortunate. So we take that meat and we feed the public. So it's it, you ask about the length of time. Well, technically it's that one day, but in an Islamic country, it's not uncommon for them to celebrate up to seven days. So that's the situation. So it can be three to seven days, but here in the West, we usually get one day in. I, I, I'm always struck by the fact that a lot of people think different religions are excluding other people. They're not including other people. And this is really, and, and I've had the same discussion with, with a rabbi on this very show. This is a celebration of humanity, not Absolutely. just Muslims. It's a celebration of humanity, correct? That's an excellent point, and, and I don't claim to be a biblical scholar, but the Bible talks about the human being uh, falling from grace in a sense, but then the human being being placed back as the cornerstone of society. There's a black stone in the Kaaba, and in this black stone, it is in the corner of the Kaaba, which symbolizes placing the human being back in their proper place, meaning what? All, everything that happens in society should be for the preservation, for the dignity, and the sacredness of the human being. So you're correct, Steve. It's all about the human being. Let's leave it at that. Imam Omar Shakur, do I say happy Eid al-Adha? You, you could say happy Eid al-Adha. You could say blessed Eid al-Adha because there's blessings associated with it. But thank you so much for this opportunity. And feel free to call on us anytime where we're at your service. You know I will. We appreciate yeah. you being here. We'll see you next time. We'll be right back.